YouTube. This your girl Kayla Red. I'm coming to you all with new hair, of course. You know, you all please excuse my voice. This is the month of Pride, and in St. Louis, we just had our Pride last weekend, so <coughs> it's gone. <laughs> but if you all want to see more of this color, please stay tuned. You all can see step by step of how I did it. Make sure you all like, subscribe, share, and all the good stuff. But until next time. Bye. Okay, so here you all see me section the hair off. I promise you all, this helps you all out a lot if you section your hair off first. I'm just going to do some plaits, you know, some braids going down. Um, go track by track. I have my tracks doubled at the bottom, so I did about nine, maybe ten plaits. So I went ahead and I already started my neon color green, and I'm just showing you all how I did it. I just did my neon first. I'm going to do my hunter green after I applied on my neon green. And just make sure you all get all of the hair. You want to make sure you don't see any whites. You want to make sure that you really, really blend that neon into that um, blonde hair. And right now I'm just going to start, um, now that I have all the neon applied to the back part, I'm now going to start doing um, the hunter green. I'm going to make sure that I put that on. And when I put that on, I'm going to make sure that I blend that very well into the neon green. You want it to be blended as well as possible. No streaks, no lines. You want it to be blended. So, yes, I stated before, just make sure you blend it in. Blend that color in, girl. <laughs> but, yeah, as you all can see right here, I'm just adding my um, neon green. The, not neon, but hunter green, the darker of the two at the bottom i don't have like a specific type of way that i'm doing my ombre effect it's just kind of like you know mm, i'll say creative <laughs> but no i didn't have like any certain type of way i was just blending in how i wanted to do you know it's gonna fall how it's gonna fall when i curl it's gonna look really really nice even when it's straight it looks really really nice so yeah i just wanted to make sure it was just blended in as much as possible I probably shouldn't have had put that hunter green as far up as I did, but hey, I like it, so it is what it is. <laughs> Okay, so here I'm just applying my hunter green, and I have my hair parted in like four sections. In the clips is where I'm going to put my neon green, but here at the bottom and at the top front is where my hunter green is going to go. I seen this technique that um Arrogant Tay had used. He's on Instagram. I don't know if you all know him though. If you don't look him up, he's a very very talented, well known um hairstylist, and he had parted um this hair in a very it was a very cute cute part and he did so i tried to copy that and kind of run with it do my own thing but yes yeah, so i'm just going to apply my hunter green make sure i get that in very very well well blended and just try to make it very cohesive and go with everything else and it came out um quite nicely i really do like it as you all can see So this is what the color looked like when it was all finished. As you can see, beautiful, beautiful, vibrant colors blended well together. Yeah, and I really, really enjoyed doing this hair. Make sure you all like, subscribe, and please share. Thank you all for watching. Bye-bye.